I don't know if many of them, I can't feel more of
G'day and welcome to Stanley Tipalura Oval for the 2021-22 Tiwi Islands Football League Grand Final. I'm Will Zwar. With me today is Brenton Toy and Kevin Baxter. Uh, it's a pretty big game. We've got Imlu Tigers versus the Matawari Magpies. And uh, BT, what's your what's your thoughts on today's game? Uh, cracking atmosphere uh, down here today at Bathurst Island. Uh, these two teams both from Melville Island, um, so it's a it's a rare occasion that the two Melville Island teams meet. Uh, so that this is the third time uh, coming together and uh, we'll talk to Kevin Baxter a bit later about the history and that but uh, one apiece so this will be the decider so really exciting great atmosphere down here uh, the, the, the Tiwi dances the, the welcome to, to Bathurst Island was terrific um, I was down at the beach earlier this morning and it was just packed full of Mullawoody and uh, Imalu supporters obviously trying to get across from Melville Island to Bathurst Island so uh, cracking day great to see uh, you know all of the crowd back at Bathurst Island we haven't had a Tiwi grand final like this for a while now and it's just a, a massive you know 
know, crowd down here today. Bit of a unique one as well. Obviously, it's later in the season and it's a very nice dry season day. Usually, it's uh, in the depths of the wet season. Do you think that's going to have an impact on today's play at all? No, I don't think so. I think both teams um, obviously got to play in the same conditions, but uh, absolutely, from a spectator point of view, um, the, the grand final in May is absolutely outstanding. Just a nice, cool... I won't say it's cool, but it's a, you know sort of nice and crisp and not too much humidity in the air, so uh, a bit more comfortable for the players, so hopefully they'll go right there today, but um, I don't think it's going to favour any team, one or another. Usually during the wet, we get a bit of a, um, you know, a rain and a, and a um, wind that pushes down from, from the northeast, but I'm um, not sure if we'll get that today. So uh, hopefully some nice dry conditions and uh, both teams play some good footy. Well, the Tigers got the early win with the toss. They'll be kicking uh, left of screen, which means Magpies are kicking it right of screen. What's your final tip for the day in uh, best on ground, BT? Oh, um, I'm going to go... Oof, can, I, can I take six to one half a dozen the other? I'm going to go <laughs> Muller Woody uh, with Owen Henry, best on ground. Uh, and if it's Imalu, uh, Xavier Lippo Singh, uh, outstanding young player uh, from the Nightcliff Tigers, uh, over playing for, for, Mool- uh, for Imalu. I'll go with uh, Muller Woody as well, and I'll go Paddy Heenan for best on ground. I'll... Uh, uh, they've won the last two finals here, the elimination and the qualifying or the preliminary final by two points. So I'll go then by two points again three weeks in a row. All right, and we've got a tip from Kevin Baxter here. What's your tip for this afternoon, Kevin? Yeah, I'll go for um, Mulawadi by six points. Perfect. Umpire balls it up. First hit out is a big thumping hit from the Tigers, and they're looking to go forward first. Looks like it's Jonas Babui getting it forward. That's a mark in the back line. To Mudawari. So rest of Tabura. Paddy Heenan couldn't quite take the one-hander, but he's run oh, down in front of goal. Umpire pings him for holding the ball. Not a great start, unfortunately, for Heenan. He's not happy. Yeah, with a kick there by uh, Sylvester. Very dangerous, very dangerous. And it's cross the goals and uh, pretty dangerous. Get the uh, and it's Lippo now lining up. Houston. It's a very early in the piece here. Amble's in. And he sprayed it. One he would have liked to have kicked and get the Tigers on the board. Yeah, just let himself down there. But that player I mentioned, Xavier Lippo Singh, but just a great clearance by the Imalu Tigers. I think it's uh, Chris Wallapini in the ruck. A massive hit out. So it'll be Austral kicking out from fullback. Looks to the far side of the ground. Finds a target in... Uh, and Shane Austral. Austral to Austral there. He goes down on the far wing as well. Now with, I think it's Newman. Handballs it over the top. Comes back to him. Another hand through the middle. Throws on the boot. Works it forward now. Didn't really have any direction though. And it's picked up by the Imalu defender. Now goes across the ground here. Jojo Burke. He was the target. Intercepted though. Magpies. No one can really take possession. Here we go now with Paul Babui. Deep forward, good, strong mark. Stanley Tupalura. Stood strong, strong under the contest there, Stanley Tupalura. Um, under a little bit of duress there, but uh, the Muller Woody players, uh, I think it was Sylvester's Tipalura that kicked it forward, Kevy. Um, but just uh, strong body Tipalura stood underneath it, uh, took a great mark. The win to his back now. Uh, he's got the number five on, Stanley Tipalura. He kicked five goals last week as well, so he's in good form. And he's kicked it straight through. So first goal of the day goes to Mutawari Magpies through Stanley Tipalura. He's very happy with himself. Yep, uh, great finish there by Stanley Tipalura. Took a fantastic mark, but uh, it was terrific work by Roy Farmer. Uh, just a strong body and a clean set of hands there. And we just see number one there for uh, Paul, Paul Babui. It was just kicking the ball forward. But um, Roy Farmer, plenty of NTFL experience, uh, very strong body, clean with his hands and got it out, moved it forward. Tipalura in position A and a nice finish. So they lead by five points early in the piece here. But just over three minutes into the first quarter. Let's see if Imalu can get another whacking hit out. They do there. Purun Tadamiri done. He dropped it. Couldn't quite dispose of it. Umpire says play on. Scrimmage in the middle of the ground. No one can take possession. Magpies looking to tunnel it out. Babui try to get a run on there, but the ball stays still at the bottom of the pack. So we'll have another ball up in the middle. Another big leap from the uh, Imalu Ruckman. They work it forward now. Strong defence though from Woodaway. 
Now it comes out. This is Austral takes the one bounce. So that's it. Tipura. Ah, Tipura he goes down now. Lorenzo. We're trying to control the footy. Eventually went out for a throw in. Good patches play there by Mulawiri, running from defense. Uh, Sylvester Tubura, number two. So we'll have a throw in in the forward flank down the Magpies end. Goes up. Maureen nearly took it. Might take it now. Lorenzo. The Tigers come out from defense. Diamonds, Babui. Botney, Tabrui. That's the ball went out, out of the four for a throw in. Rodney Tabrui had a few games with the Bombers this year. A few notable names out there, as you mentioned, Kev. Uh, quite a few played yeah, with the Terry Bombers throughout the season, so some familiar names. Yeah, familiar names. Makes our job a bit easier. Absolutely. There's Adding Newman. Him. Comes out now to Heenan. He kicks it short, accurate, made sure of that one. Now it's Sinclair, he goes down and it's out on the full. Not a great kick. That was John John Tablura. John Tablura, sorry. Oh, a few million names playing for one of those. <laughs> Joey Burke, captain of Umaloo. Short. That's Cecil Valala. Went across. Turnovers by Mulawiti. Charlie picked it up. Maureen couldn't take so, it. Renaldo Punta had a Murray. Comes out, kicks it to Braden Rioli. Rioli from the mark. Went over his head. Went back to pick up. Good work by Rioli. Can't take possession. Lays a tackle instead, but Mulawiri will get it out. Throws on the boot barrel forward. Oh, what oh, a mark. Not quite. Chris Wallapini. Now gets it over again. Imalu will have another attempt. Working it forward. Michael Dunn. Dunn. Looks like Paddy Heenan again. He'll mop up. He's been busy early. Kicks it out to that far side. Just throws on the boot. Looks like we'll have a foot race. It'll be Owen Henry. Owen Henry. He doesn't get to it first. It's Imalu. They work it back in board now. Michael Dunn. Another Tiwi Bombers player. He kicks it forward. Couldn't find his target. But it might work out for them. Paddle it forward. Paddy Heenan been very busy. And now uh, oh, it's Callum Newman apart. again. Call it. for holding. Him. Back to Brewey. Rodney to Brewey. Looking for something inside forward. 50 plays oh, on. Oh, he's taking it up. We'll ping him for holding the ball there. Now they work it down again. Just on that far wing. The Magpies go in board now. Kick it long to the target. Oh, it's Alberto to Brewer. Had a few kicks in the first quarter. Too far out to score, but he gets it to the hot spot. Good, strong mark in defence there. Stephen Portetta Murray. Not a great Not kick out, but it should work for them. They've got a man on if you can get Bradley, it to him. Bradley Montalbi. Portetta Murray. Onward to board. Kurt Dunn. Cantilla. All right, familiar, familiar just, name. Just looking to slow it up a bit here. Wobbler off the kick, hits the boot. Heenan again at the bottom of the pack. Tackled, wrapped up. Umpire will ball it up. It's really impressive effort uh, from both uh, defensive units here. Um, Sylvester Tipalura and Shane Ostrel for the Mullawitty Magpies and uh, Stephen Prundatamari. They're just a great rebound 50. So you see the Magpies go inside 50. A little bit of a nudge out by the Magpies defender. Uh, just trying to pick it out. Is Cunningham there? Ball bouncing over the boundary line for a throw in on the far side of the ground, half forward flank. Um, Cunningham? Yep, Dale Cunningham, the leading goal kicker. Just a quick score check. It's the Mullawitty Magpies. Um, one goal, six to the Imalu Tigers, uh, lone point. All stuck in that forward pocket for Imalu. They're still looking for their first goal. 
caught a few names here too today. Uh, Paddy Heenan, Kurt Duncan, Tiller, uh, Roy Farmer, some ex-NTFL uh, Tiwi Bombers players or current Tiwi Bombers players, but um, you can really see their influence out there on the ground. Uh, Roy Farmer just organising and providing direction, uh, the composure of the Duns out there. Quick kick in. Uh, the Magpies have got them outnumbered here. Great work by the Tigers. A little bit of holding on to the jumper. Gets a handball out. Lippo Singh. I think he's got it. He's pulled the bow and arrow back. Uh, the Red Boots. He's made up for his uh, misdemeanor earlier from the set shot on goal. And uh, Xavier Lippo Singh uh, has injected a bit of life into Bathurst Island. Um, great goal there for the Imalu Tigers. They creep to one point in front now. But uh, just persistent work there by the Tigers. Uh, they were outnumbered uh, in their forward line. But uh, won their contested ball. And Lippo Singh, we've seen him play in the NTFL in Darwin. Uh, he's a terrific little player and excitement machine. So uh, don't give him too many chances around goal because he will make you pay. He also won uh, the best on ground medal in the Nightcliff Under 18s Premiership in uh, this season, just gone over in the NTFL. So, bright future ahead for him, and already he's started on fire up forward. Reset now. Imalu with another hit out of the middle. Newman at the bottom of it. Kick forward there by Owen Henry, Magpies captain. Imalu there to mop up. Takes a bounce. He keeps running back. Needs to work it forward. Kicks it out wide now. Galara, the target. Kicks it into the man on the mark. Still working out there. Magpies got a lot of pressure on it. They might be able to turn it over. The Tigers work it out. They play it safe. Kurt done there. Ball works up the ground onto that far side. Peter Purintal Mary kicks it inboard. Can't find his target. Ball bounces past all of them. Great work there from Shane Ostrell. He kicks it forward now. Turns it over though. And he's off. Imlu forward. Can't take the mark. He's tackled, outnumbered there by Magpie defenders. Works it forward now. No one can really take clean possession. Tigers in a threatening position. Magpies giving a free kick for a high tackle. No, it's going the way of Imalu. Yeah, just got him running around the neck. The umpire saw and throw a free kick. Short pass. That was Bradley Montabi. Short pass to Dale Cunningham. Imalu's leading goal kicker. Kicked over a free goal this year. Been absolutely fantastic for him. I thought should miss from here. 20 meters out, right in front. Lines up, works well with the wind, and they kick two in a row. Edge out to a seven point lead. Two goals, one Imalu leading the Magpies on one straight goal. Yeah, the practice again. Um, a bigger body there with uh, Bradley, Bradley Mangantabu winning the hard ball and he got a free kick out of it and short pass to Dale Cunningham finish up with the goal. So, good play. Practice play there by Mangantabu. Ball goes up in the middle. Magpies this time working it forward. John Tabura. Roy Farmer. Roy Farmer just stood there and waited. Time it, friendly, and as the ball landed on his chest. There's a good play there from the um, centre right there by Mulawiri. Uh, winning the clearances and then uh, straight down by John Tablura into Roy Farmer. Roy Farmer now line, lining up. Shouldn't miss from here. Break him in from here. One of the experienced players. Lining up, and he kicks it. Good kick. That's right, you're going to give him the uh, commentator's curse there. <laughs> so they reduce the margin back to a point. And pretty tight game 
early stages, BT? Yeah, just a terrific finish there by Roy Farmer. Just judged it better than his Imbalu opponent, but uh, the Mullawoody Magpies, um, they were streaming up from, from centre-half forward to uh, get a, at least be involved in the play. Uh, created an extra number. I think it was John Tipalura got his hands on it. Um, you know, nice kick over. Just made it over to Roy Farmer. Um, and then, to be honest, I've watched a lot of football over here in the NTFL. Roy Farmer is probably one of the best kicks that I've ever seen. Um, field kicking, goal kicking, absolutely outstanding. Back in the middle now. Imalu looking to get the first possession out, but they won't. Magpies get the clearance, working it forward. Mark back there, taken by Purun Sadamiri, Ronaldo Purun Sadamiri. There's a few of them out there today. He kicks it out to the far wing now. But the boundary line beats them all, so we'll have a throw in on that far wing. Yeah, Kevin, you've mentioned him. We've caught him a couple of times. Ronaldo Purun Tadamari. He's been terrific down back. Stephen Purun um Sylvester uh, Tipalura down the other end uh, with Shane Ostrel. Uh, both defences are holding up. Paddy Heenan was busy in that first uh, five or ten minutes or so, but we haven't seen him uh, lately. So looking for him to get involved and perhaps up around midfield and try and get a little bit of drive forward of centre. Here you go, the Magpies now. They get their hands out. Got room to move. Kicks it forward. Good mark in the back line right. there. Stephen Pontatamari kicks it to Jarrett Pontatamari. That's a fair bit of Pontatamari playing <laughs> today. I think there's something like seven all up. Yeah. To Jarrett, it's a forward line. Looking, went up. I think they play the mark there. Jonas Babui. Oh, the slightly mark there. Oh, missed it. Came out to Mulleroo player. They're bursting away through on the Marines handball to Ben Yulung around the middle. Taking his time, Billy Hudson comes out. They took it off him. Michael down to the back line, turn over and kicked it over to the flat side and to coming the Imler player. Jonas Jonas Babui, short. Uh, young Peter Pontatamari, I believe. Pontatamari looking for something, doesn't look confident. Here he goes for a short lead now in the forward pocket, finds him. It's a very tight angle though. Alan McKinney. It's Gilbert Alan McKinney. Yep, that's correct. Don't know much about this bloke. Do you reckon he's uh, in with the chance here, Kev? He's capable of kicking in goals, but um, see if the wind put him. I think it'll drop shot. Wind didn't work with him. Maureen was there for Magpies with the presence, and the ball has worked over the boundary line. So we have a throw in inside Maluidi. 50. Oh, actually, in Malu, rather. Edging towards the 17 minute mark of this first quarter here. It's a six point lead. Edward Pontanamari took the ruck and fall down to uh, Chris Marine. He missed the ball. Jonas Babui, Wilson Van. Edward Pontanamari kicks it long with oh. their fort. In the back umpire, surely. He's paid it. So he paid it. Lip off. I think they just made an unrealistic attempt there by the Mullawoody defender. Um, got his foot right on the back of, a, of an Imalu player, uh, the recipient there, Xavier Lippo Singh. So, uh, fairly strong breeze blowing across the ground here. Uh, we saw a last shot on goal drop short. Uh, he'll have to allow for this, but uh, very clever, very talented young player. Xavier Lippo Singh goes in and he has let us down again. Unfortunate for the Imalu fans all behind the goals down that end uh, of uh, Mullawoody. Uh, if we can see it down the other end, uh, there's black and white um, uh, down the other end of the ground. So, uh, Imalu, well and truly, um, down the southern end of the ground. Umpire calls play on. Magpies looking to restart play and slingshot it down the other end of the field. Here they go, second kick in this play. Turn it over, though. Bouncing ball. Shane Ostrel. Lorenzo gets it forward, all his man's tripped over. And Imalu again, Michael Dunn mops it up. There he goes forward now, turns it over though. And it'll be Adam Henry 
with his shot. Probably from just within range. Yep, uh, Breeze, not so much to his back, but yeah, as I said, just uh, blowing across the ground. So I think both teams would want to get somebody uh, on the line, um, or at least to the left side of the goals. But we'll see as Henry as he comes in on his approach. Uh, nice and balanced, comes out to the right, uh, not the best drop, and it does go very much to the right, and Billy Huddleston's hit his chest and bounced out. Uh, quick oh. soccer off the ground and hit the post. Uh, terrific play there, great pressure there by the Magpies down in their forward line, and now it looks like Michael Dunn again will bring the football back in for the Imalu Tigers. Uh, comes in short, uh, there's uh, Chris Wallapini, they call him Mulali. Um, Comes back inboard to Paul Henry Burke Dunn. Uh, he's over the footy, gets it out, and still a bit of a scrappy football play down there. Hands over the top, Stanley Tipalura. There's Michael Dunn again, gets it out. Uh, here's Braden Rioli out with a bit of space. Uh, nephew, uh, sorry, brother of uh, Richmond player Daniel Rioli. Braden Rioli doesn't have a lot to go to. He's calling for something. It's a nice chip over. Comes out now to Kurt Duncan Tiller. And again, they're just slowing the play up a bit. Doesn't have a lot to go to. A forward, so he just kicks it over the top. Finds his man there. Wooden Tyra Mary. Goes back over the top again. Can't take the mark. Good intercept there from Paul Babui. The Tigers still might work out. Soccer's at forward. Gets past a couple of Magpies. They'll mop it up again, though. They tap it forward now. Hacks it off the ground. Big Chris Maureen throws it on the right, kicks it forward, and that's a mark to Stanley Tipalura. A bit too far oh, out, but the siren's the gone. So he'll be lining up for his second of the day after the quarter time siren. No, the umpires said he took it after. So at quarter time, I'm not sure if we got the right score there, but I think it might be two goals, one thirteen to two goals, two fourteen in Imalu's favour. We'll be back after this short quarter time break. Little 
Welcome back to Stanley Tipalua Oval for the TB Islands Grand Final 21-22. It's Imalu versus Model Magpies and it's Imalu with a one point lead at quarter time. 
Two goals, two fourteen to two goals, one thirteen. On wheels are with me is BT. We did have Kevin Baxter with us. He's just on his way back to the tent now. How did you take that first quarter, BT? Um, I was very surprised with the defensive effort from both sides. Um, uh, you mentioned that the, the Bullawitty Magpies tend to slingshot their way out of defence, but the, I was uh, impressed with the composure of the Imalu Tigers, just how they were able to maintain and control position coming out of their back line. Big hit on Braden Riel to start that quarter off there, but he's bounced back up. Looks like Mulawari now trying to work the ball forward. Now it's Imalu who will work it out. Bruin Tadamiri Dunn kicks it forward. Big long kick. And a, oh, not quite a mark there. Tristan Lippo. He's been lively. He's kicked one goal and two behinds for the Tigers so far today. Umpire has called a high tackle and it'll be a free kick going the way of Imalu. To Kurt Dunn Cantilla. He's also been fairly lively so far in this one. Don't think he's kicked a goal yet. But he has a chance here. To Kurt Duncan Tiller lines up. And G might have given him the... Uh, the curse there, Brenton. Yeah, he was almost in the identical spot to the one that Roy Farmer kicked earlier there, but uh, Kurt Dunn's approach, he went out to the right, and that's exactly where the ball went. Um, he angled out right, and it stayed there. So Magpies to bring the ball in. Looks like it's Paddy Heenan. Just a short, sharp one. Now goes over the top. We've got a tent in our way here, so can't see exactly who's got the ball, but it's the Magpies coming out of defence hard and fast. Lindsay in Maureen. now comes Lindsay Maureen. Hands it inside there to Tipping Woody. Intercepted though from Imalu. Now they go down the near side wing. Works his way around. Big Chris Maureen has the ball. Oh, stripped. Chris Wallapini, beautiful. Like a thief in the night, he took it from his hands, kicks it forward. And Lippo has a, another chance for an attack on goal. How good was that by the Ruckman, Chris Wallapini? He was second, third, fourth, fifth efforts. He come in flying, stripped the ball off his opponent, kicked it into Lippo Singh. Great effort, Chris Wallapini. Don't think his opponent knew what happened. One minute <laughs> he had the ball, next minute it's down the other end. So here comes Tristan Lippo. Oh, it's coming back, but not enough. So another behind. Great purchase on it. Got plenty of football. Um, carried just a little bit of breeze, just held it out to the right. But uh, they're peppering at the moment. Just great pressure from both sides. Does seem like a strong breeze out there today. And I think the Magpies are definitely working it a bit better. Imalu not quite settled with it, but they intercept it there. Magpie's making tough work for himself. Here's Heenan. He plays on. Kicks it in board now. Chris Maureen, the target. Had to work for it. Didn't get to him on the full. Now it's coming in board again. Lorenzo takes the mark. Middle of the ground. He's looking forward too. Kicks it deep, but doesn't quite have the distance. Tigers now. Cedric Four Galala. To Galala. He comes down the wing. Finds his man. Ball goes in board now, short, sharp one. Purun Tadamiri, he's had a fair bit, Ronaldo Purun Tadamiri has, kicks it forward. And it's Lippo again. I think he's had about three shots so far this quarter. Will this one make it? That one's close, but again, it's just to the right side. So he likes that right side today. Could have well and truly kicked that, maybe just settled up and learnt his lesson from the last shot. But uh, as we see, Paddy Heenan again, a few possessions early um, in it this second quarter. General in the back line down there, isn't he? Yeah, but he needs to be, and they need to be composed because they're really struggling to, to put consecutive chains of possessions. I think the Imolo defence are doing really good to, to roll back out and try, try and pair it up one for one up the ground. Another short, sharp kick in that Magpies back line. Charlie. Oh, oh, not quite a mark there. A few good attempts today, wowing the crowd. But yet to land a big one, I think. Umpire calls for a throw in on this near side forward flank. Yeah, they're struggling out there, uh, Muluri, at this stage to clear from the defence. And this is where they stop stoppages.
Orient. Joshua Burke attacks Himalu. Paddy Heenan. Again. Sends it across. Here comes the slingshot from the Magpies. Sylvester Tablura. Roy Farmer, handball. Marine, handball. Oh, good pressure to play there. Tap it back towards him, but you missed the ball. Stephen Kennett, uh, Purn Tatamari, collects the ball and kicks it to a teammate. Imalu, Michael Dunn, running through, attack. It's a high ball. Stu Olapinis, uh, got topped there by Shane uh, Ostrel as he chased the ball. Picked up there by Muluwiri, Chupungwiri. Misses target, picked up by Michael Dunn. He kicks it forward and Lippo, I believe, again for his third shot a goal. Yeah, they're struggling out there, uh, Muluri at this stage, uh, going against the wind, uh, been, trying to clear the defence. But um, been yeah. lucky, been lucky that the Tigers have been inaccurate, but they've uh, definitely got. The run of play going against them. Absolutely, meets missed the first two opportunities goals. Uh, Learn enough for his third one. Again, just misses to the side. So I think they edge out to two goals, six, eighteen, leading by just five points. Could be a lot more. That's right. Got to kick him straight. Yeah, a few opportunities of goal there for Yumla Tigers. As Paddy Hennen brings back in. Short, Owen Henry. Very, very composure is Mulawiti side. Chris Maureen, the target, the big fella. Good, strong hands there. Another one who's played a few games for the Tiwi Bombers this year. Yep. Tries to dance around his opponent. Last time I think he did that, he got run down. Oh, no. Nearly got his head nice. taken off there. Charlie Sinclair, back to Maureen. Maureen snaps it on his right. Comes out the back. There's Daniels towards goal. It's marked on the last line. Wasn't accurate, so wouldn't have gone through. Purun Tatamiri. Now comes out Purun Tatamiri. He's looking for something. Goes across goal. Dangerous, but he's got a target there. Michael Dunn. All right, Dunn. Foot Great race, farmer. and I think he'll be first to it. Stephen Purun Tatamiri on his left foot. Wasn't a good kick as the ball dribble, dribble on the boundary for another try win. Yeah, a lot of stoppages. Another try win again. As the players get around. Big Chris Maureen in the ruck gets a hit out. Tigers again looking to work it forward. Oh, and oh. Henry. Sylvester Tubulura. He's looking for something to go to. He doesn't really like what he sees. So he goes a short, sharp one back to Owen Henry. The captain today for the Magpies. Here he goes long. Bounces off the knees of the Tigers play and picks it up again. Gee, he's playing well. Lippo. <laughs> he looks for his targets inside forward 50. To the hot spot. Oops. Tigers. Oh, oh great back defensive safe. work on the line back there. Safe by Paddy Heenan. He kicks it back in for Mulawudi. Here comes the slingshot. Maybe this time it'll pay Marine. off. Comes out now to Sinclair. He takes the mark. He plays on. Sinclair goes right. Gets past his opponent, nearly runs too far, kicks it inside 50 though. Oh, Ronaldo, point out of Marianne, he's shot right there by Ronaldo, Fuimlu. He plays on, kicks it out wide now. Lippo, on a fair win. He kicks it forward, bounces off the deck. Oh, and Henry. Finds Sinclair. Doesn't play on that time. Gives the hands off to Henry again. He's been pretty lively. Now goes inside. Daniels. Huddleston. Huddleston. He takes a great mark at full forward. Yeah, that was a good precious play there by Owen Henry. As he got the ball from the back line and uh, kicked it. And then follow up his second effort. 
to Sinclair, got the handball back and then drive it forward in the forward line. Another one who kicked five goals from last week, so in good form. He's their leading goal kicker this year. Let's see what he can do. Straight through the middle and the black and white army are up and about. So they're well in this one. Should be a lot further down, but they're in front. Three goals, 2-20. Leading Imalu two goals, 5-17. Yeah, much needed goal there uh, by the Magpies that had plenty of possession but weren't able to capitalise on the scoreboard. But they just kept persisting, um, you know, and just get it into their good players' hands. Uh, Nicholas Daniels Heenan got hold of it and he's a terrific user of the footy. Just got it into Huddleston, who was one out uh, down in the goal square there. And that's what he needs. He needs to get that used to be able to that big body and, um, you know, not, not be outnumbered and have, you know, defenders run off him. So if they can get it into him, uh, he's every chance to mark it uh, and a beautiful set shot on goal as we just saw Billy Huddleston. Uh, not from Tiwi Islands um, down in the Catherine region, I think from down at Nooker or somewhere like that, uh, Billy Huddleston. So um, we've got players uh, from here, there and everywhere and, and lots of spectators down here at Bathurst Island today as well. What a penny. It's a hit out there. Oh, good hit off the ball. Kept possession. Umpire has pinged him. Yeah, that's Jojo Burke. Yeah, he just got a free kick there. Um, Mullawoody fans are uh, calling for a, a free kick for, for being tripped, but not forthcoming. Now the big ruckman throws it on the boot. Bruin Tadamiri done the target. Can he work himself under it? No, he can't. Ball bouncing. And here comes Sylvester Tiplura. Takes one bounce. Takes two. He's going for a run. Takes a third down that far wing. Now goes inside 50. And doesn't make the best of his possession there. Rolls over the boundary line. Yeah, absolutely. Great running uh, out of the back line there, Sylvester Tupalura. Um, we're also here, joined here by Tiwi Bombers champion Dion Mankara, who's come down to watch some of the NTF, uh, to TIFL as well. So welcome to Dion Mankara. Hello, Dion. <laughs> Might be on his live stream soon. <laughs> And it's a free kick going the way of Mulaway. So after a fairly dominant second quarter from Imalu, it's the Magpies. Yeah, Cal Newman, I think. Yeah, Cal Newman. Yep. I think just for a ruck infringement, I think, there uh, against Waller Penny. This will be a tough kick for, for Newman. Um, again, just kicking right into that breeze. So uh, maybe not have a shot and try and put it to the top of the square and give your big forwards a chance to mark it. Or it's not Newman that's got it. Nah, it's been, uh, it's been given to someone else. Yep. Can't quite work out who it is. Goes. Oh, it doesn't look too convincing. It's out yeah. on the full. And that's what I was uh, getting at. Was we're trying to avoid uh, that wind blowing very, very strong across the ground. So needed to centre that ball just a little bit more. But um, look, I'm just really impressed with the with the Imlu defence at the moment. And, and they've got some great players out there. I was lucky enough to coach Michael Dunn uh, for a number of years. And um, uh, there's not much of him in terms of size, but just one of the, the quickest thinking footballers that you're ever going to come across. Magpies now still trying to lock it in their forward line while they've got it. Ball comes out now to Roy Farmer. What can he do? Goes towards the hot spot. And Huddleston can't take the mark. In fact, it's marked Imalu before it reached the, the goal line. Now goes deep. Sinclair, great one-handed mark. Just paid a push. Yep. Just give it back before so you end up with 50. It won't count. Babui. He's looking to get it off quickly. Gives it to his nan who can run. Goes down the line, just a short, sharp one again. Goran Tadamiri told to play on. Dances around his opponent, takes a bounce. Dances around a second one. Gee, look at him go in a short one. Great work there from the little fella, but his kick wasn't marked, so it's play on. They look to go inside 50 again. Heenan couldn't take it. Play is slung. Heenan will pick it up, and it's a free kick the way the Magpies. Great defensive pressure there. Now comes out to Austral. It's a good win there by the Pies because Lippo Singh has been exciting and lively. Um, just to be able to get one back on him. Uh, ben Yulungura streaming through the middle. They call him the little Cam Island over here on the Tiwi Islands. Purin Sadamiri goes inside 50, finds Huddleston. Great mark on the lead. 
Yep, big Jeffrey uh, Dupler, poor and Tata Mary there, number 24 on the left foot, just a piercing kick uh, into 39 there, Billy Huddleston, uh, the, the last goal kicker for the Bullawoody Magpies. So um, hopefully we're right behind him here. We should get a good shot on this. He's a, a terrific goal kicker, great set of hands, and uh, hopefully can get the job done for the Pies. Big Billy Huddleston walking in, about 40 or 35 out by the time he kicks it. And he's put it a bit too far to left. Relied too much on the win there. They edge out to a four-point lead. Three goals, 3-21 to two goals, 5-17. Tigers now looking to Ste go forward. Stephen Point Adam Ray, Jonas, Bad Boy. Handball back, Robbie. Took him on that way and that way. Oh, I think he's caught umpire for sure. Paid him, dropping the ball. Sinclair for Mulawiti. Told to go back around on his mark. Too far out to score. Goes to the hot spot. Didn't really go to a, a target up forward and it's turned over. Point out of Murray. Right up, point out of Murray. Michael Dunn. I do the switch and he's away. Takes one bounce. Now goes down the line. Lippo. Lippo. Bounce doesn't favour him. But he's assisted. Oh, went straight through him. Didn't know what his uh, teammate was doing there. Lippo just stopped. Right, um, Marine. Marine. Two bounces. Through the middle. Kicks it. Justin Puntana Marie on his own. Oh, it's a bread and butter. He dropped it. Oh, oh. it took his hair. Almost took his head off. Quick kick there. I think he's uh, another point to Adamari. A center back. As he drives it forward for you, Malou. Goes Chris Wallopini. Goes to the torpedo. Doesn't pay off, though. Now to the hot spot. 1-1. One, one. Cunningham. And Tigers finally get a goal for their effort. They move back in front, three goals, 5-23. Leading the Magpies, three goals, 3-21. Yeah, the pressure, pressure footy there by the Tigers. Turn the ball over, set up back, and um, got a free kick, flew in the hand, and um, that's a drive forward, and uh, getting them forward towards, so uh, in a one-on-one -on -one context with Cunningham. Let's see the replay again. So one-on-one -on -one with Cunningham here, and she took him on, and here's the snap, as you can. Great finish. Another goal with Imalu. Big Paul Paul and Tadamari in the middle for Imalu. Doesn't win the hit out. Oh. Tigers might win the clearance, so they're away. Joey Burke. Good mark on the wing, plays on. A tip of a tour. Big Paddy Heenan. Oh, good. Good, good pressure. Got into Brewery. Tim of a tour. And uh, Mungan Tiber trying to burst it through, but got tackled as the ball rush over for another boundary. Charlie Sinclair underneath of it. We have another stoppage just on the throw in. Ryan and Imlu attacking. Throw in. Ben Yurunga. Oh, he got his leg taken. Umpire said, play on. Chris Scrubby. Mungo Tiber gathered the ball as he kicked it along towards Roy Farmer. Michael Dunn went through the defence. Punched the ball. He got the ball one that way and another way. That's it. Always do. Kicks it to his younger brother, Kurt Dunn, in the middle. Puts a mark. He played on quickly on his left foot. Looking for Paul Ford, Dale Cunningham. Oh, good play there by one of the Marine players. Paddy Heenan gathered the ball. Hurry kick. Nearly intercepted there. Sinclair now picks it up. Gets through one tackle. Fakes a handball. He gets it away just as he's tackled. Umpire calls play on. Here come the Magpies again. Looking to move it quickly. Paul Babui. Darts it long. Roy Farmer underneath it. Took the mark. Went back slowly. Kicks it right in. Stanley to Brewer. Good oh, mark. He took the strong mark. Good play. Yeah, it was a pressure footy there. Ball turnover. Uh, Paul Babui there. 
uh, took the ball and then um, drive it forward. Good work from Roy Farmer there. He's sort of playing that, that link-up role, and generally when it hits him, they score from it. Runs around, snaps it, and it's another goal to Tipalura. Well, I'm Stanley Tipalura, right on the siren. So half-time, and it's four goals, three, 27. Mudawui leading Imalu on three goals, five, 23. Just a four-point game here. We'll be back after the half-time break.
Welcome back to the Tiwi Islands Grand Final. Just about to start the third quarter here. And it is the Motherwari Magpies who are up by one point. We've had a bit of a score correction. It's four goals, two, 26, playing Imalu Tigers, three goals, seven, 25. Pull up. Tapped out by Henry. Went straight down to Owen Henry. He drives the full for Mulawudi. Miss Mark. Stanley Tupelo picks it up. Handball. Mung and Tobi on his left foot. It's going, he's going. Oh! Good start, good start by Mulawiri. And that was Bronson Mangatopi on his left foot. Good clearances in the middle there. That one by Imalu Burke, and then he went straight down to Owen Henry as he got the clearances for Mulawiri. Stanley Tupura pick up the, the ball and then handball to Bronson Mangatopi who finished up for a goal. So good start there by Mulawiri. Quick start, and they extend their lead now up by seven points. <coughs> well, it's been a pretty entertaining contest, tight game. Henry again taps the fort. Himmler plays soccer up ground towards Maureen. Oh, they just watched the ball. Jonas Babui, handball, missed the target. Picked up by Babui, he missed the target too as well. Jonas picked up another ball, hands it over to Joey Burke. Burke, Rodney Tiburui, has Paddy Heenan with him. Tiburui on the ball. Heenan getting good pressure. Now North come ball. the Magpies slingshotting it out of defence again. Guy, straight across, right farmer on his arm. Kicks it, leading forward, Huddleston. Kick it in front of him as the ball roll, roll towards and dribble around the boundary. Throw in, Malouri attacking. Good play there by the Mulawiti Magpies and just a bit of a quick shout out to everybody watching around the Territory and around the country. Uh, we've got some students in at St John's and Halliburton and around Darwin, uh, some family out at Tucker Pramilli, uh, the Henrys and the Murphys and Thomas Simon out at Picataramore. Still a few family members back at Miller Carpety and uh, Pularumpi still watching on, on the stream so just a quick shout out oh. to everybody watching at home. Great what mark, a mark there. there. 
And the Magpies have started this third quarter definitely with a lot more intent. Yep. And you wonder what uh, Coach Austin wanted me. We haven't spoken too much about the coaches um, during the call. As we just have a look, Tipalura goes around. around. The crowd behind, very excited. So they've kicked two to start this second quarter in just two and a half minutes. Currently now leading up by 13 points. It's six goals, two, 38 to four goals, one, 25. Just it's all starting through the midfield there, but um, just a good switch there coming out of their back half. Uh, Roy Farmer in plenty of space. Uh, didn't find Huddleston as such, but um, uh, Tupelo got a free kick over Mark there. Nice snap around on goal. Um, good result there for the Pies. But I was just going to say, I wonder uh, what the instructions were. Um, so the Imalu Tigers coached by Joseph Gideon Pangramini, uh, ex-Waratah player, uh, been around the Garden Point Football Imalu Football Club for a long time. Um, Austin Monomiri coaching uh, the, the Mullawoody Magpies. And uh, people who know Austin played, I think, uh, 31 games for the Melbourne Demons, kicked 33 goals, um, distinguished career in the NTFL. So um, terrific to see those guys coaching as well. Tigers now with the chance to get the score on the board. Good defence again by, by the Magpies. Rolls it towards goal. But it's walked over by Paddy Heenan. And he looks to move pretty quickly. They've got numbers out on this fat side. Sinclair takes him up. He plays on. He goes out. Finds his man and he plays on as well. Is that Roy Farmer? Bronson Mungatopi. Bronson Mungatopi. Has a bounce. Looks in board. Nice kick in. Huddleston's there. Oop. Falls short, but it's a mark Steve anyway. Lanza. Yep, uh, nice kick to the hot spot there. Um, coming in by Bronson Mungatopi there. The, he's been he had a few good touches lately, but um, yeah, Stephen Lorenzo Jr. Um, been around for a little while. Played a little fair bit of footy for the Tiwi Bombers. Um, generally a pretty good kick. Breeze blowing slightly from right to left, uh, just across goal. We'll need to put it outside the right post as we stay with Lorenzo. Nice kick in. Hits it OK. Oh. Clears the goal up by his head. <laughs> There's enough in it. And that's another one. So that's three consecutive goals straight after the break for the Mullawoody Magpies. It was a shocker off the boot, but it managed yep. to float float. Uh, wasn't pretty, but pretty effective. So we'll take that one. But uh, great start there uh, into this third quarter by the Mullawoody Magpies. They'll be really pleased with that. Uh, Emelu Tigers looking a bit shell-shocked at the moment. They need to do something to get a bit of drive out of their midfield. Uh, and when it goes into their forward line, they've got to do better at keeping it in there. The, I was very impressed with the, the Mullawoody defenders there. They were outnumbered, but they were able to bring the football out. So uh, credit to the Mullawoody Magpies and a little bit of work to do for the Emelu Tigers. They've put, uh, looks like they've put Chris Wallopini back in the in the ruck now, which I think that'll uh, have an impact. He was dominant early on, and it looks like uh, Magpies have gotten the first few clearances of this quarter. See what they can do. Here he goes now. He's got the hit out. Now gets a handball out. Doesn't quite have the effect he want. Here goes Sinclair for the Magpies now. Snaps it forward. Bounces through. Galala. Galala kicks it out to that far wing. Finds his player. Poor inside of Mary. Poor inside of Mary looks forward. they got numbers on here now. The Tigers just need to use them well. Lippo. Just in Lippo. Goes deep. Looks like it's a free kick free. towards Mulawuri. Mulawuri for an unrealistic attempt. They're looking again to move it pretty quickly as they have all day. That's Brian Ostrow running across the... Took him on. Oh, he he nearly too far. run down. Umpire's picked him for holding the ball. Yeah, just a lack of communication there by Mulawuri. They had three players um, an opportunity to get it out. That's Gee, Willow Pinney goes towards goal, but it's hooked and it's a behind. Yeah, lack of communication, just a mistake. Turnovers, and uh, fortunately, uh, Chris Willow Pinney had a shot miss. How do you bring it back through? Now it's with Callan Newman. Been pretty impressive today so far. John Tupelora. Finds another man on the wing. Shane Ostrell, another defender. Ostrell goes for the draw, kick. doesn't quite work out. Lindsay Marine. Another good fly, doesn't pay off. Oh, I took... Umpire said play on. It's a bit of a scrum in there. Looks like a magpie's gotten it clear. Throws the ball on the boot, goes forward. Huddleston. Oh, good, good hands there by Stephen Fontana-Murray. 
one of the best defenders for Yamla Tigers all year. Left foot and fine. One of his players, Yamla player in the middle. As he went across, found loop hole on the fair wing, far side of the wing. He kicks it, <coughs> looking for Renato. The ball bounce, handball over back to foot running there by Lipo as he drives through the forward line. Went over his head. Oh, this is going to bounce through. through. What a goal. Oh, what a kick. Good play. That's no Tristan Lipo. He was, yeah. meant to, yeah, he was meant to go for uh, Dale Cunningham there, but the ball went over his head and then dribble, dribble. Was a lucky one. A goal for Imalu. A much needed one as well. Reduced the margin back to 12 points. They've been inaccurate, the Tigers, so could do with a bit of luck going their way. Four goals, 8-32. They're trailing seven goals, 2-44. Umpire pops a balloon in the middle of the ground. It's made its way out there. Joe Wallopini there. Imola Tigers. With them is Jonas. And the goal kick in Odalipo in the middle. Ball toss. Pulled back with Mr. Ball. I think. Uh, Mangatabi, Mangatabi, Brandon Mangatabi kicks it. Hacks off the Ball, ground. Off the ground by Jonas. Babui, didn't go nowhere. Ben Yulungra with the ball. It's a cool customer, this fella. Handball to Guy, Guy quickly on the bird, and then unfortunately uh, it was uh, Chris Wallopini chopped it off for Yimalu. Uh, the kick wasn't good, unfortunately, and uh, dribble run the boundary for another try win. Yimalu attacking. So throw in on the wing. See if Imalu can build on momentum for that last goal. Well, Pini gets a hit out again. And gets some meterage there as the ball rolls over the boundary line again. Take two. Magpies this time throws on the boot, try to get the ball down. Benny Lungara. He's got two to beat, and Tigers working in their favour. Umpire calls 50 metre as well. Yeah. Jeffrey Purunsadamere's uh, stepped over the mark. He's arguing with the umpire, so you have to be careful he doesn't give away another. Yeah, that's a new rule there. You have to stay stay still on a, on a mark. And uh, Stephen Purunsadamere, a defender, get an opportunity to kick a goal in a grand final. <coughs> He's a pretty good kick, a left footer. Has a good legs on him, and uh, I'll pick him up from here. Inside 50, as he approach. Stephen Pontetamari. Nervous steps. Was a flutter, the kick. He's gone free. And the umpires had touch. It was very close. Oh. Fans trying to will it over the line, but I don't think it quite worked. Mullawari again with the quick kick out. Paddy Hinnan to John Tablura. Don't have a lot on at the moment. So again, they'll just go long down the line. Good mark there from Paul Babui. Plays on. Launches it inside 50. Tipper is at the back. Couldn't quite take the mark there. Now the Tigers have a chance to rebound. They go out, find a man on his own out there. Can't quite see who it is in his son. Now go inboard. The Tigers have plays forward if they can get to them. Gee, just not clean enough there. If they were clean there, they could have had a run on BT. Yeah, just uh, maybe a little bit of fatigue setting in towards the you know the latter half of the game, but I think both teams are doing really well to set up behind the ball. So Muller Woody having you know one or two spares uh, behind it. Uh, every time an Imalu player looks up, they don't really have anybody to look to to go directly down the ground and to be enforced a bit wider. So um, maybe a bit of fatigue, but a um, bit of tactics as well. Tigers again going that spare. Forward. Yep. Magpies, gee, they made a meal of it as well in their back line. Ball comes out the back now. 
quick kick forward. And is that Tristan Lippo? He goes towards goal. It's gone through. It's Babui. Yeah, just a couple of times now, the Bullywoody Magpies, I, you know, you can't fault them for wanting to take some risk, but uh, they've gone across ground into that wind and um, it, it is pretty strong and uh, it's hard to run into um, and even harder to kick into. And that kick there, I'm not sure if the, the wind blew, uh, the ball dropped and it just didn't hit the mark, but um, yeah, it wasn't great at all. Lots of pressure right into that corridor. Very, very dangerous spot there uh, for the Bullywoody Magpies uh, to come back in board to. Just the pressure from Emelu Tigers. They outnumbered at the contest. Just a quick kick out and a nice finish on goal uh, by who was it, Kev? Uh, kick the goal. Jonas, Jonas Babui. Babui. Yep. So Tigers working their way back in the game. They're just five points down now. High ball. Doesn't hit anyone on the forward flank for the Magpies. Edging their way forward. Ronaldo Bruins Adamiri goes forward now, but goes straight down the throat of Curtis Tipalura. He sees a lead and finds him on the target. Gee, who is that? That's Adam Henry. And he looks like he's going to try and slow things down. Here goes Adam Henry. Plays on. Kicks towards goal. It's offline and it's punched over for a behind. Yeah, again, just a bit of an awkward ball drop. Um, went straight nonetheless, but didn't quite get the distance there. But uh, gives the ball back to the Imalu Tigers now to rebound. And uh, they've been pretty good today. They've maintained possession and been able to control the tempo coming out of their back half. Um, just the Maluri Magpies uh, working hard defensively here. But uh, Tipperui, just, you know, uncontested ball uh, and a ground. Um, there's movement through the ground, uncontested players to go to. Maluri have to do better here to man up the the spares around the ground because the Imalu Tigers will continue to chip uh, and chip away and just control possession until they can get into a dangerous spot and then they pull the trigger. Warren Tadamiri done at the bottom there. He gets her hands out. Tigers still with the ball. Looking to go inside 50. Warren Tadamiri done again. Only goes as far as Lindsay Maureen. He looked to switch, but uh, had second thoughts about it after the last two attempts from the Mullawoody Magpies. It's good. They'll stay wide. Nice kick down the line. Not so much to Lippo. He is everywhere. He started off with a tackle on Patrick Heenan. He's kicked a goal. He's, you know, getting kicks around halfback. He is just everywhere. Yep, Joe Joe Burke. Burke. He finds Brayden Rioli, brother of Richmond's Daniel. Let's see if he can do something to... Give the Tigers an edge in this game. He's wearing his brother's number as well, number 17, and uh, obviously Morris Rioli Sr.'s number back in the day. So here comes young Braden. Rolls onto his left, doesn't quite look like it's got enough. He hits the post. Just mentioned the, the Rioli's there too, but um, just a, a, an absolute breeding ground for, for football talent here on the Tiwi Islands, um, <laughs> across both islands, Bathurst and Melville, but uh, obviously the Imalu Tigers Garden Point uh, community, uh, known for the number of champions uh, to come out of there, obviously Rioli's being one of them, but um, plenty of famous footballing names around the country that, you know, from, from the Tiwi Islands, the Vagonas, Aussie wanamiri has been at AFL level. Um, I was talking to one player before, Ross Tungatal, and perhaps one of the best footballers I've ever seen outside of the AFL, uh, if not in it. And we've got a scrimmage on the near side wing. Ball loose, but no one can take possession. Now it goes with the Tigers. Michael Dunn, he'll give it to Puruntata Mary Dunn, gets it back. He goes inside 50 now, and there's a player on the fat side in his, on his own. He takes Dale the mark, Cunningham. Cunningham. Yep, and Kevy keeps telling me he's the, the leading goal kicker and um, uh, another sort of synonymous name with kicking goals too, his brother Jared, um, uh, sorry, uncle. Yep, Muna Cunningham uh, won the Dennis Dunn medal uh, in the NTFL. Uh, just, a, just a super lead mark and very rarely misses. 
Cunningham just coming in on his approach. He'll have to watch the win. Puts it out to the left. Holds up. Crowd behind. The goals like it. And the goal umpire has signalled a goal. That brings the scores uh, back to, I think, one point up. 6-10-46, the Imalu Tigers, to the Mullawati Magpies, 7-3-45. So after an outstanding start to that third, third quarter with three goals out of the blocks um, for Mullawati, the Imalu Tigers have gradually clawed their way, way back into it. Yeah, you're right. It was uh, it's pretty goal for goal first half. Then we saw Magpies absolutely dominate the first five or ten minutes of this quarter, and uh, Imalu just held their nerve, got back into it. One goal, two goals, three goals, and they're back in front now. See if they can keep the momentum up. Here goes Waller Pinney in the ruck. Another big hit out for him. Braden Rioli takes it under his arm, runs, gets round one, gets round another, goes to 50, kicks towards goal. Oh, oh good running back yeah, with good. the flight from uh, Brian, Brian and Austral. Brian Austral. What a young kid coming through. Ball comes out now. Tigers just hungry at the moment. They take the mark there. No, umpire says play on. He calls for a ball up. So not really sure what happened there. Yeah, he didn't pay the mark as uh, Bradley Montalbi took him there. Decided the um, umpire call it the mine for a ball up. Well, Pinney again with a big hit out. Bruins out Mary Dunn. A check side kick. Shane Ostrow. And they're going to look on the far side. Here they go. PT's unleashing his inner middle. coach trying to... <laughs> Suggest to them to go the other side. Dropping the ball. Umpire said play on. He took it over. He duck umpire. Play on said the umpire. Uh, the, my, uh, Paddy Heenan. That's a switch play to Owen Henry. That's a paddock to run. He can go all the way. Third bounce. Fourth bounce. Tipper out the back. One out if you can get it to him. Tipper is in the back there. Can't take the mark, but they've got numbers on. Oh. oh. That's a soccer trying to is John Tupelora. But Wasted uh, rebound. opportunity there. Rebound by Imalu. And then there's Stephen, Stephen Pornchad Murray. Took him one. Handball over to another Pornchad Murray in Ronaldo. He kicks it. And a mark there by Peter Pornchad Murray. So three Pornchad Murray in a row. Family affair here. Rodney Chiburui. Back to Peter. Pornchad Murray. Oh, that was two of two, or rather. As he went through, looking for Dale Cunningham, but it was chopped off inside 50. The umpire decided for a free kick to Walla, uh, Mulawudi. And that's three-quarter time. It's a one-point ball game. Imalu Tigers leading six goals, 10-46 to Mulawari Magpies. Seven goals, 3-45. We'll be back for the final quarter just after this.
Welcome back to Stanley Tipalua Oval. I'm Will Zwar. With me is Brenton Toy and Kevin Baxter. We've got the final quarter here of the Tiwi Islands Grand Final between Mutawari Magpies and Imalu Tigers. Three quarter time, it is Imalu with a two point lead. It's six goals, 11 47. Very inaccurate kicking. So the Magpies, seven goals, three 45. Two points in it. What's your tip, BT? Um, I, I was out on the ground. I'm going to tip Imalu Tigers here um, for Tristan Lippo Singh to, to win the brother John Pye medal uh, for best on ground. Um, I was just out on the ground. That wind is, is, seems to be blowing hard towards the attacking end for the Tigers. So we've got a ball up just forward of centre for the Tigers. They work it backwards, but now it's with Michael Dunn. He goes forward. Just a bit too far, goes into Tipalura's arms. He goes out to the wing. Tipping Woody now kicks it forward to Chris Maureen. Big mark, big strong hands. He's holding up play a bit. Umpire tells him to move on. Goes forward and he finds. No, he doesn't. Was looking for a, for a teammate up forward. Ben Unluanwara, but we'll have that ball up in the Magpies forward pocket. Umpire throws it in. Big fist there from the Ruckman. And the Tigers looking to get it out very quickly. Heenan running through there. Tigers still, they've got numbers running back. Body on body there. He's done well, the Mullawoody player there, to win. Um, he was outnumbered, yeah. Now Is that Lindsay Maureen? Yep. Paddy Heenan at centre half back. He kicks it out wide. He's got a man in plenty of space in John Tipalura. Fumble with the ball a fair bit. Didn't help out Sinclair. And now it's. It's uh, Nycliffe going forward, Jonas Babui. Oh, his ball is intercepted. Sinclair tapping it forward, doing what he can, gaining plenty of ground there. Now comes in, I think it's Lorenzo. Ball comes back out. The Magpies go forward. Oh. Stanley Tipalura snaps on the right towards goal. It's gone through. Very happy with that. And he puts them back in front by four points. Yeah, it's good work there by the Mullawoody Magpies. Uh, Billy Huddleston, unlucky not to win a free kick for holding in that marking contest, but uh, just numbers at ground level there and popped out to Stanley Tipalura, just shrugged off one, broke a little bit of a tackle, uh, balanced up on his right foot, nice snap. And you can just see the difference here of the, you know, the players that have played in the NTFL, the Patrick Heenans, the Roy Farmers, the Stanley Tipaluras, the John Tipaluras. Um, they're just, uh, you know, Edward Purantata, Mary, Michael Dunn, Kurt Dunn, Cantilla, uh, just a tremendous amount amount of talent and and that in critical stages of the game they're going to require their senior players to step up here goes the magpies again and they've just seemed a bit more they've got more intent at this stage of the game working it forward to blur this time the check side towards goal one. two in a row stanley to on fire here at stanley Arbor. I think that's his uh, fourth goal for the day, at least. Yeah, that's his fourth one for the day. And he puts them up by 10 points now. Yeah, good passage of play there. Once again, Mulawuri attacking, just keep the ball moving and forward. And they find a way in their 50s as Stanley pick up the loose ball and then snap on the outside of his foot for his fourth of the day. Here is the replay again. They just kept working it forward, and he was just in the right spot there, read the play best. And he's very classy, can just throw it on his uh, foot as he did there, and it's gone through the right way. Rock again. Tigers again, now with little Braden Rioli. Oh, good tackle, good tackle. Ball hit the grounds, picked up by Tupuri, handball over. Here comes Sylvester Tupulura, the horse. As he all now to all of us. <laughs> last running, last running, run like a horse. Got a gallop on him. Umpire will throw it in on that far wing. It's 
a bit of a nil all draw there out of the ruck contest. But Purin Mary Dunn takes it for the Tigers now, tries to do a dusty fend off. Doesn't quite pay off. Ball now in dispute. Magpies trying to work it forward, gaining a bit of meterage there. And now they look like they're off and away. Comes in the middle now. Played free for a high contact. Tipler will get it. Kicked out wide. He's a smooth mover, Ben Yelongura. Lorenzo takes the mark in the forward 50. Very close to the boundary line, very tight angle. This is the one now I think that, you know, you can have a shot or you can try and put it to a dangerous spot here for the Mullawoody Magpies. That breeze is blowing straight across the ground there. Seen a few shots there that have dropped short or, or gone to the near side point post. So uh, he'll need to adjust for that or, or at least try and give his, his forwards a chance to mark the football. Tough spot to kick from with the win. It's looking pretty accurate. Oh, it's just hit the post. All right. He was close to proving me wrong there. <laughs> Very wrong, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, still. And um, squeezes it out to 11 points. And it's a big ruck win there. Waller Pinney from fullback kicking it in. Eddie Purin Mary Dunn. He took the mark in the middle of the ground. He plays on and kicks it. Not a great one, but he's working it forward. Now the Magpies will mop up at the back. Gee, they won't clean with it. Heenan will have to make it something out of it. He does. Now they come out. Kick went too far. Sinclair now with it. He hands it over the top to the captain there in Henry. He's under pressure. And the Tigers could get away with it. Lippo throws it on the boat. Kicks it inside of forward 50. Goes through the hands and it's over the boundary line. The free paid there, I think. Yep. Free kick, Austral. sorry. Chips over to Shaney Austral with the headgear on. Nice use there by Austral. He goes to Lindsay Maureen. Looks up the line. Good defence there by Prunda Mary. The farm of the target, that's an important one to cut off because if it gets in farmer's hands. The cramp. You know what you need this time. He, just looking at uh, having a little stretch. He's just going to move the play over just while we're waiting. Um, just to. Quick mention too to the Tiwi Island Football League uh, committee as well. Um, Willa Rioli does a lot of hard work and Mary Dunn, uh, AFLNT employee Daniel Smiley as well, did a terrific job in getting the season running uh, in the grand final today. Uh, just a terrific outcome for everybody over here. Austral now. Paddy Heenan, he gets it out that far side. Looking for Curtis Tipalura. He finally gets it. He goes down the line as well into the hands Bronson of Bronson Mungatopi. Mungatopi. Goes in board now to Babui. It's a risky kick. It's a floater, but it's paid off so far. Good intercept there. But Sinclair gets around one, goes inside 50, a short chip to a man on his own. Stephen Lorenzo. Very clever and composed play. But you're right, just Sinclair there, just composure. Um, could have blazed away. Oh, I think he's just been kicked by Chris Wallapini um, off the ball. Um, but, yeah, just composure there by Sinclair, just to, to, to lower his eyes, didn't blaze away, and uh, find his, uh, his teammate there, Stephen Lorenzo. I think he's kicked one, uh, maybe two today already, Lorenzo. Walks in. He's happy with that. And so they get out to a 17-point uh, lead. Yeah, they do, but they just want to be careful because if you remember that third quarter there, the Mullawoody Magpies jumped out of the gates with those three goals, got, a, got out of, to a decent lead, um, but they surrendered that lead throughout that quarter just through a, a lack of concentration, and I think that's going to be important now where discipline um, is going to you know, kick in. Uh, the discipline about not giving away free kicks, but the discipline to do the hard work and cover those defensive spots to, to help out your teammates. That's what's going to get the Mullawoody Woody Magpies over the line. Yeah, absolutely right. We're only 10 minutes or nine and a half minutes through this final quarter here, so there's still plenty of footy to play, not even halfway through. Plenty of time for the Tigers to come back. Get a hit out there and a clearance. Purantadamari. Through Jared Purantadamari. Goes deep but only finds the arms of Sylvester Tiblura for the Magpies. He looks to move it quickly. 
nearly intercepted by the Tigers. Magpies. Ostrel. Shane Ostrel. Staying composed. They go backwards. Newman goes forward now. It's contacts. Good mark there Yulungura. from... Ben Yulungura. That's the one. Can't quite... Haven't got, quite got my tongue around that one yet. Kicks it over, John. Tablura. Holds it up. A bit too far out to score from there, I reckon, but he's in a good position. Goes to the lead. Oh. Good mark from Stanley Tipalura. Timed it perfectly. Yeah, that's a good kick there by John, obviously, with his experience. Just take his time and wait, wait, it, wait it for Stanley to move, and then he just popped it on top of the square, which is beautiful. And... Uh, a great mark there by Stanley Tablura. He's lining up for his fifth. Tablura walks in. The crowd very happy with that. They move out to a 23-point lead. It's not going to be easy from there from the Tigers. They've got to give it everything they've got. Yeah, I feel that um, Maluri Magpies are running away with this. And, uh, who knows, who knows? Anything could happen in the next five minutes. But it was good to see Roy Farmer calling out to his teammates for instruction. And um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good to have him uh, for Maluri out there. He's an organiser. Yeah, the biggest crowd here ever. Um, yeah, a lot of visitors. Plenty have come over from Elbow Island as well to support both the teams. And Absolutely. Obviously lots here on Bathurst and lots from Darwin. As John attack, Maluri in there forward. Ball on the ground. Picks up by Michael Dunn as he runs away with it. Goes to the far side of the ground. Kicks it to Joey Burke. Joey Burke slowly chip to Kurt Dunn. Cantilla. Umpire side play on. Kurt Dunn kicks and find Rodney Tabrui. Tabrui on the fair side, far side of the ground. Waiting, waiting for option. There's no movement for Imalu as he kicks and hope. And uh, what are the Muru players? Actually, fall off and uh, Port and Mary gather as he kicked in a rush. And Mr. Hull, block. I think. So another opportunity wasted for Imola. Unfortunately, it's been that kind of day for them so far. Six goals and 11 behinds. If they turn that around, we could have a very tight game on our hands. It's not over yet, but we've got to get a wriggle on. Just want to ask you, Kev, um, if Muller Woody win tonight, what will the town of Snake Bay, Millicarpity community be like? Oh, mate, I'm sure there'll be a lot of noise. A lot of noise out there if you're living at uh, Melbourne Island at Snake Bay. They um, just got their hands around the cup, Morris Rally Cup at this stage. But that ain't going to happen in the next five minutes as Wallapini, coach, missed target, picked up by Salvester Tablura, kicks it over to Lorenzo. Lorenzo has a paddock and slowly kicked it to Daniels. And he, he's inside 50. Another one. Another player played at TV, but was played at Science. Very experienced. I'll break him from anyone, missed from here. As he is approached, Daniels kicks it, looking good off the boot. They like it. And I think Mullerwood and Magpies. Some very happy people in, uh, in black and white down that end. And uh, Daniels, Absolutely. Daniels celebrating as well. They've, uh, as you said, they've just about got their hands on the cup. Yeah, I just can Smell, smell a hot pie at this, <laughs> at this stage. And uh, if you're living at Miller Carvery, there'll be a massive, massive celebration out there for them. But who knows, who knows in the next five minutes. So 14 minutes in and it's a 29-point margin. That's the biggest margin of the game so far. Umpire balls it up in the middle. What can the Tigers do? Last chance saloon for them. Ball gets out. Sinclair from halfback. Nearly got it again. Tigers still trying to work the ball forward. Magpies desperate in defence. Here go the Tigers. Snap towards goal. Won't quite make it. But can they take a mark? No. Ball goes over for another behind. There. That was Kurt Dunn. 
fortunate the ball dropped short and uh, Molori will bring it back to Ospro. Have a loose man, far side of the ground. There's Justin Tabla, Port and Tata Mary. Looking around for option, taking his time. A check side, pretty rare kick, but uh, fan his teammate in Brahm, Austral, right on the boundary. So look for option, kick it down the line. Callum, Henry in there, went for a mark, picked up his own ball again, kicked it towards Stanley to Blora. Was a strong mark by Stanley. He could continue on to play on quickly, looking for Huddleston. But Roy Farmer was behind and took a brilliant mark inside 50. And he's another one who's had a very good day, very influential, and he's generally been involved when, they've, uh, when they have gone forward successfully. Roy Farmer, the general, been around for a long time. That's an opportunity to kick goal in the grand final for Malouti. It's right in the deep, deep pocket as he approach. Kicks. They like it behind the square. The goals. And, and he kicks it through the middle. Nat Kaiser home from here, you'd think. Did, he, did I say that he's one of the best kicks that I've seen, Roy Farmer? Just an absolute sensation he is. Great kick on goal. Yeah, he's one of the best the best kickers I've known to as well. And uh, brilliant kick. Willie Rioli Sr. Good giving finish. him a plug on the PA as well just then. But uh, the uh, Magpie supporters can barely contain their excitement. They're just about jumping over the fence. They've moved ends. Yeah, I feel that um, Mulloody now running away with, with the game. Um, him and Mulloody sort of backed off a bit. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Ruck again. Rucking infringement. This time again going the way of the Magpies. Yeah, Curtis Tipler. But if that breeze is really favouring the Imalu Tigers then at the moment, but uh, they just can't seem to get enough possession. Here's Roy Farmer again, wheels Roy and goes. Farmer. Ball slips out the back. Huddleston, he picks it up, gets it away. There's Sinclair, he's moved forward, trying to get in on the action. Huddleston gives a shepherd off. Gets down there. It's a wayward snap from Mungatopi. Just needed to settle there, but um, not long left now. 17-minute mark into the, the fourth quarter. Uh, it's the Imalu Tigers 47 to the Mullawdy Magpies. They look to have this one sewn up, so uh, be a lot of celebrations after the game. Just looking at the Imalu crowd gearing themselves up to run out once that siren goes. But um, terrific game of footy. What a great atmosphere down here. Super to see the crowd back at Bathurst Island and Stanley Tipler arrival for a Tiwi Island Grand Final. Uh, it's in May. It's not in March. It's something a little bit different, but um, what a great time of the year and what a great place to be on the Tiwi Islands watching uh, into, uh, TIFL football. Yeah, it's been one of the best days out here. I think that people would remember for a long time. Obviously, it's been a tough couple of years with uh, Tiwi Bombers games cancelled the whole past two years, but um, yeah, great day out here. And as you said, being in May, it just that makes it that little bit special a little bit nicer weather and yeah great day all around Tigers just continue to chip away here uh, it's good to see that you know the both teams are playing this in a, in a good spirit towards the end um, you know, no, no silly freeze or undisciplined play so Tigers there uh, just get a nice uh, easy consolation goal towards the end of this uh, fourth quarter here but um, they're Cunningham again, yep, just another one. Um, they just continue to kick goals, those Cunninghams. They do not stop. But um, look, the Mullawitty Magpies, it's going to be hard to, to pick a best on ground player for them today. I, I think, I think um, Sinclair's been okay. Stanley Tipper has been all right. Um, yep. Uh, My man, Paddy Heenan. Yep, from Paddy Heenan's been, been a, good. A general down there. Roy Farmer. Um, look, but in saying that, if Imalu Tigers had won, uh, it would have been uh, Lippo Singh every day of the week. I think he was terrific um, in what might turn out to be a losing grand final. And here they go, Tigers again. It's a bit too little, too late, but they aren't giving up. Good tackle as the umpire said, dropping the ball. And the Magpies, they'll do it from third position. They, they'll do it the hard way. They obviously beat two Buffaloes in the first week. They came up against Tappalinga Superstars last week. Two two-point wins in a row, but this yep. week they'll do it very comfortably. That's correct. Underdog. Came in through from the Prem to the first semi and then Premier League. And then here they are. 
So we count again the seconds, another free kick. Yeah, through Mulawudi. Uh, through the first semi and then permanently. First year coach of one of our own, Austin Warner Mary. Pretty experienced, played a lot of footy obviously with Melbourne Demons and um, he deserved it. As a, as a Melbourne fan, one of my favourites Aussies. That's the siren. Magpies are premiers Mulawudi here. Mulawudi Mag Magpies. Screaming on the premiers for 2021 22 season. And this is what footy's all about. It's uh, Mulawudi Magpies have won by 25 points. Uh, sorry, that's not quite right. 29 points. It's 13 goals, 4, 82 to 7 goals, 11, 53. And it's a black and white premiership this year for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, well done to Aussie and his team, Mulawudi Magpies. Uh, yeah, they've... Um, Works so hard, you know, through the, throughout the difficult times with COVID and um, and sorry, business too as well. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, good win by Mulawudi, um, first year coach of uh, Austin Wanya Mary. So well done. It's their fourth premiership ever. Their last uh, premiership was in 2016-17. So about six seasons ago, I think. And um, yeah, they'll be very happy to to bring the uh, the silverware. Across the Ashley Straits, back to Miller Party. Miller Party. So if you're looking Miller at Miller Party today, I'm sure there will be a lot of there'll be a big party happening today. I'm going uh, back to Miller Carpet today. <laughs> Don't worry. As, as BT reckon, you'll be at um, Miller Carpet today. So yeah, well done to Mulori, well done to Ozzy. Um, bad luck to him, the Tigers. Whatever powerhouse in the competition, you know they, they have been there before, and uh, unfortunately today. They didn't didn't plan that for him today. And, uh, bad luck to Gideon, his his coaching staff and his players. Uh, Imlu is a very 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 proud proud club and um, um, yeah always an, another year next year. But um, yeah well done to Mulori once again and Austin Wanamere and Mulori Magpies. That's it Thank from you. us here at Stanley Tipalura Oval. Thanks for joining us. And uh, as you heard, it's a black and white premiership. All the best to you. We look forward to bringing it to you again next season. Thank you.